So what is the Quark mod? Well, it's a mod that adds in a bunch of different stuff to Minecraft. I mean, if you go to their website here, you'll be able to see all of the different stuff that is added to this mod, and it's a lot. I mean, 111 features in automation, building, client management, mobs, tools, tweaks, world, everything. There's so much stuff that you can do with the Quark mod, and that's why it is actually one of the most popular Minecraft mods of all time. I mean, it has over 70 million downloads, which is honestly insane. And in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to download and install it. So let's just jump right on into it. The first thing you wanna do is go to the second link in the description down below, and that's Download Quark, and that's gonna take you to this page here. Then on the right-hand side, scroll down to the Recent Files tab, and under that, you'll find Minecraft 1.18. Then you'll have Quark there, and we can click the orange download button to the right of that, and after a few seconds, the download will start. But while that's downloading, have a mess from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So go check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own server. Quark, though, is downloaded. You may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Nevertheless though, once Quark has been downloaded, we can go ahead and move on to AutoRegLib because this is a requirement for Quark. It is a basically compatibility mod for Quark and you can find a link in the description down below to this as well. I believe it's gonna be the third one down below. Once you're here, you wanna again come over here to the right hand side, scroll down to the 1.18 section and click the orange download button next to AutoRegLib. After a few seconds, the download will begin and uh, yeah, you'll need to keep or save the file exactly as you did with Quark. So keep it in the bottom left, save it in the same screen on Mozilla Firefox. From there, there's one more thing we need to download and that is Forge. Forge is the mod loader that basically links the Quark mod to Minecraft, right? Without Forge in the middle, nothing happens. So we need Forge and you can find Forge at the fourth link in the description down below. And once you're here, this is our in-depth guide to getting Forge. We're gonna go over the basics in this video, but everything will be covered in the uh, in-depth guide here. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and click on the Download Forge button. It'll be taken to Forge's official website where we wanna make sure Minecraft 1.18.2 is selected. As you can see, right there it is. If it's not selected here for you, select it on the left-hand side. Once you've got it selected, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. Then don't click anything on this page whatsoever. On the page you click, once you click on Installer, don't click anything, right? This page right here, nothing, stop, don't click anything. Wait 10 seconds. And then after about 10 seconds in the top right, a red skip button will appear. So after about 10 seconds, click the red skip button in the top right and in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading. You might need to keep it in the bottom left and as long as Forge is in the title, it's 100% safe. The same goes for Mozilla Firefox or any other browser that requires you to save the file. It's 100% safe as long as Forge is in the title. Now we can minimize our browser and here we are on our desktop. Now on our desktop, we need to move Forge, Quark, and auto reg lip. So we need to move all the mods that we downloaded and files we downloaded to the desktop here. Now these are gonna be found in your downloads folder and to find that click the little windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen or center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads, we have this downloads file folder, open that up and then drag and drop these to your desktop right like so, right? Looking good right like so on our desktop. Now, once these are on your desktop, the icons may be different. And if they are, just keep watching because we're gonna show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we could go ahead and open up Forge at all. To do this, right click on Forge, click on Open With, there's Java and click OK. Java's not here, well then what do you do? Well, if Java's not there, this didn't happen, you didn't open up Forge, and most likely your icons are broken or they're just broken in general. So to fix both of those issues, Java not being there or the icons being broken, what do you do? Well you download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods such as Quark and guess what? This is our in-depth guide on getting it. You can find it in the description. It goes over everything you need to know, all three steps and an in-depth video as well. Now for most of you, that'll allow you to open up Forge but your icons still may be broken and if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix after getting Java 17. First, download Java 17, then run the jar fix, and it's gonna take all of the jar files on your computer and link them to Java, making them work happily together. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Finally, we'll be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That'll then open up the mod system installer for Forge, which we've already saw a little earlier on this video when we opened it up, but as you can see, it can take a second or two for this to open up. But once Forge is opened up right here on the mod system installer, all you're gonna need to do is click on install client, 
and click OK. It's then going to download, install, do everything it needs to do to get Forge. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you have never played Minecraft 1.18.2 with no mods or anything, just vanilla Minecraft 1.18.2. If that's the case, go play it, come back, and this will work. As you can see, successfully installed Clamp Profile Forge for version 1.18.2. Click OK, and you can delete Forge from your desktop. Now, let's get Quark and Design Auto Reglib installed as well. You need both of these installed for Quark to work. So to do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then once you're in the Minecraft Launcher, you want to make sure that you're Forge profile is selected. Now for a lot of you, this will be selected just by default. And as you can see for me, right there it is. Forge is automatically selected. And most importantly, it says 1.18.2 under it. Click play, click play again if that's the case and skip forward a little in the video. But if you don't have Forge here and it's not in this list here when you click on this little arrow either, what do you do? Well, you click installations and then you need to make sure modded checks. As you can see, modded unchecked and Forge is gone. Check on modded, there it is, Forge is back. That's great, however, if Forge still isn't there or it's not 1.18.2-Forge, click on new installations. Then, name this whatever you want, I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible 1.18.2 grief protected survival and skyblock server. We have an amazing, amazing community over there with hundreds of players online every single day. If you want the best Minecraft server, survival, or skyblock experience, come play on Breakdowncraft. Now let's just go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and we wanna select release 1.18.2-Forge. Mine towards the top, you may need to scroll down a ways to find yours, but right here's mine. Once you've got that selected, let's go into resolution and click on 1080p. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that so uh, we can see once we get in game. The most important part is having Forge under version, which we do. Click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new playdartbreakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.2-Forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you're playing modded Minecraft by clicking play again, and now sit back and wait as modded Minecraft does open up. This is going to take a while, a lot longer than normal Minecraft, so I'm just going to kind of keep talking here for a second so you can actually start to see it load up in game. Then we'll sh cut to where it's actually loading up. There you go. As you can see, it's loading up there. It's going to be like a blank screen. Nothing seems like it's happening right now. And then Minecraft will open up, right like so, and then it's going to look like it's crashing and not responding and doing all this stuff until it eventually works. And now we'll see you on the main menu. From the Minecraft main menu, make sure Forge is selected, and to do that, it's down the bottom left. There's Forge. You're good. You also will have a Mods button on your main menu here and that's also an indication that Forge is working. Click on that mods button and then you want to click on open mods folder in the bottom left. So again from the main menu click mods and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. That opens your mods folder here where you want to take auto reglib and quark and drag and drop these into the mods folder right like so. With that, we can close out of the mods folder, come back to uh, Minecraft, and they're not here. They're not going to be here until we quit Minecraft completely, open up the Minecraft launcher again, make sure we're playing with the Forge profile, either the one we created, playdartbreakdowncraft.com, or the one that was automatically there. Mars is right there. Click play, click play again, and now the same thing is going to happen. It's going to look like some crashes might happen or whatever, but overall, Minecraft is going to open up with 1.18.2 and most importantly, the Quark mod installed and working in game. So, just want to show you that the Minecraft launcher will eventually, or not Minecraft launcher, but Minecraft will eventually open up right like so, and then it's just kind of a waiting game. Until you're on the Minecraft main menu and you can click on mods and see, right there it is, Quark. You also got this Q on the main menu and, uh, well, that's where you can turn off the different elements of the Quark mod. We can also jump in game where we can see some of the stuff that Quark does out of the game. For example, all of these runes and things like that, as well as like a foxhound and frogs and some of the cool stuff that is added in. Now, one thing that I will say is that um, Quark doesn't have like a pop out like you will see on a lot of mods, which is kind of sad. <laughs> in my opinion, I would have loved to have seen a, uh, a pop out there because it would have been easier for us to showcase. However, this is pretty cool. You can see all the different uh, sort of mobs that are added in here. Uh, I think the crabs are, are one, of the cool <laughs> one of the coolest things. Look at that. I would love to see that in default Minecraft. But nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one.